I know it's not much fun for you to watch a politician talk about his positions, so I'm going to do it while you watch some silly cats and dogs. When I was first elected to the assembly, I took an oath to uphold the Constitution of the state of Wisconsin. That's the only oath I took. In Warren Petrick's first term, he signed a secrecy oath with a private law firm agreeing to not disclose to anyone the details of how our legislative districts, including his own, were redrawn in his party's favor. I authored a bill to protect voters from intimidation and to expand opportunities for voter registration. Warren Petrick voted to allow poll watchers within three feet of voters, which many people will find intimidating, and to shorten the period of time when people can register to vote. When I was in the legislature, we banned raising campaign cash during the budget cycle, which is when lobbyists are at their most active. Warren Petrick got rid of that rule. I supported a law that increased educational opportunities for our veterans. Warren Petrick supported a law that restricts veterans suffering from asbestos exposure to take the corporations responsible to court. I voted for a law to compensate women who were paid less than their male peers for the same work. Warren Petrick voted to repeal that law. I authored a law for the humane treatment of dogs and puppies in Wisconsin. Warren Petrick supported a bill that would have relaxed some provisions of that law risking inhumane treatment of dogs and puppies. I believe democracy works only with the separation of powers, but Warren Petrick relinquished his power of overseeing rulemaking and gave it all to the governor. So I ask you, if you're going to give up your powers in the legislature, why are you even there? I'm Jeff Smith, and I approve of both cats and dogs. Remember to vote November 4th.